Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Get you out of here. What? Who are you? <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse. We're coming. No way, no way. You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? need to get out of here now! This way! Jesse! You made it! And... Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! Stop staring and get a move on! Well, I can't just abandon them, not after a lifetime of study. Your head's gonna be abandoning your body if you don't turn around and run! <laughs> Jesse! They're falling behind! You gotta move faster! She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. We just need to get them moving faster. Bingo! Everybody, get on! They can just hang on. I'll take Gabriel. Then I've got Petra. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Come on, 
horses! Whatever you do, don't look back! Ah! I looked! Everyone follow me! This is Jesse, the worst moment of my life! Gabriel? Watch out! The monster! It's chasing me! It's chasing all of us! I'm trying! freaking made it! Jesse, I'm worried about Gabriel. If he was inside the wither storm, he could have wither sickness, like me. I don't know. I mean, you've never acted the way he's been acting. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you! Uh. Who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You... You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. And then we were galloping. All that matters is, you're safe now. You're among friends, Gabriel. I don't feel safe. All I feel is the horror of being in that monster. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Magnus. For a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, 
but a member of the Order of the Stone. He knew the risks, and still he let me take his armor. He was so brave. He was also incredibly stupid, but still so brave. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today. Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? You tell me. Excuse me? Well, you're the one who thought we could destroy the command block with a big old bomb. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Soren, why didn't it break? The Formidabon was, like, the strongest weapon imaginable. Oh, uh, why are you asking me? Nobody's ever built one until now. Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket. I recognize it. Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... If they were just trapped in the wither storm... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know. And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. <clears throat> Lucas... What are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. And what if Gabriel's wrong? In case you haven't noticed, he's not exactly firing on all cylinders right now. I've got to try, Jesse. Otherwise, I just couldn't live with myself. But Lucas... Look... You and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. <laughs> Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. We've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together, the most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. 
Really? Yeah, really! You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. Tell him more about the Order. Who you guys were, how you got together, anything. Well, we came together because we loved adventure. And we split apart because... It doesn't matter now. But in between, we did some amazing things together. Amazing, I tell you. We used to think we were invincible. And perhaps we were. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. You'll get your chance, Gabriel. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Order of the Stone. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, but all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault. It's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have... Wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can... Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No, no way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! <laughs> oh, not again. Reuben! already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, just as you once helped us before. This isn't about the past, it's about the future. Use it. Ah, oh, do you still not real? 
Zoran, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Jesse, you shouldn't sneak up on people. Ignore him, Jesse. He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. That explains why the Witherstorm's been following us. I don't understand. Gabriel only just reappeared. I have the amulet, Ivor. I have all along. What? I... I didn't know. Ugh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Withers' gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Trouble is, we've had a few run-ins with Enderman, and they're bad news. Mm, not necessarily. Enough of them, working together, might ignore us and destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory, if I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. Is that even possible? Yes. Yes, I, I think it might be. We'd simply need to get a large group of them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet. So, if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes! Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan for just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. And I'm inclined to agree. What kind of failsafe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? it found us so quickly it just keeps coming for us well we can't stand around and wait for it so what do we do we need to get out of here right now Ivor says that if we don't that thing will Ivor well I'll be it is you a pleasure as always Eligard hello my name is Gabriel somebody pinch me Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're going to lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted superweapon. You figured all that out just now? 
The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, thank you. Yeah, I haven't actually done it yet. Still, I am so proud to call you my friend. Same here, Jesse. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. I never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. Hey, Jesse, let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The builder bump? You got it. Oh, well. Real heroes don't need handshakes anyway. I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Unless you have a mine cart. Ever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit. 
and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> You're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. Kind of useless when they're hungry, huh? Check out what I found! A potato. Incredible. Hey, at least it's food! Potato number two, coming your way! Can I have this one? Oh, you had the last one. Oh, yeah. You take it, Ivor. I'm Sorin, not Ivor. Right, of course you are. Potato, two potato, three potato, four. The potato bringer does it again. We are humbled and awed, oh great potato bringer. Hey, Soren, I've got a surprise for you. Oh, is it a squid? What? Why would I have a squid? I don't know, but I'd certainly be surprised. It's a potato. Just eat the darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> 